Now, Notion hasn't just caught the attention of day-to-day users. It has impressed teams around the world, a few that we got to visit. We met a startup, Cocoon. Yet to be released, their team consists of Alex and Sachin. So we sat down with them to discuss how they use Notion. Uh, I'm Alex Cornell, uh, interaction designer at Cocoon. Uh, Sachin Manga, uh, co-founder of both of us at Cocoon. Cocoon recently achieved funding from Y Combinator, a popular investment backer here in the US, and they use Notion to help them achieve this. Yeah, so Cocoon is a dedicated space to keep one small group close over time and distance. Uh, so it's just a single space on your phone just for those people. Yeah, it, well, so I think in the, the, in the olden days, especially, you would definitely create like this really long slide deck and that would be what you would go and use as your fundraising yeah. materials and send it out to investors and use it for your presentations. We actually just used Notion. We created uh, a page and we made uh, a publicly accessible link and we had all of our material in there and it was, it was great because we have your visuals, we have our data, we have nice narratives. Um, and we, yeah, we ended up, we never made a deck actually. So yeah. <laughs> all, all of our fundraising to date has come just through Notion essentially. Notion is being used by many others to get things done in the busy work lives and personal lives. We bumped into David Pierce of the Wall Street Journal for a coffee. Now, for those who don't know, David wrote a fantastic article in the early days of Notion, covering the news that it was launched. And we also did a feature with him here on the channel. So it was awesome to meet him in person. During the time in San Francisco, we also got the opportunity to do a small meetup with Notion users from the Notion Made Simple group. We met Skylar, Alex, Sumo and Michael, and me and Joel had the opportunity to grab a coffee to discuss how we all use Notion. It was amazing to see the different and various uses of Notion, and Alex uses it with her nonprofit, which has 90 members inside it. And Michael actually organizing his choir group. Skylar used it to organize his personal life, and the same with Sumo, but with his new and upcoming startups. So the use of it was pretty incredible. So next up was Simon. Now Simon is Notion's other co-founder and works now as head of product on the team. He spent a lot of time with Ivan in the early days back in 2015 and continues to work alongside him today on Notion's new path. How did that story begin? How did the story begin? Yeah. Well, okay, so um, originally, I met the, there was originally a third co-founder, Okay. this guy, uh, Toby Shockman. Okay. Um, and I, I met Toby on Twitter originally uh, because we had a mutual interest in visual programming languages and kind of democratizing programming. So at the time I was obsessed with making uh, uh, visual programming environments for children. Yeah. And, and Toby was kind of making like visual programming environments for artists. Mm. Um, and so I was a fan of his, yeah. so he met on Twitter. And then I, I was out here for an internship in the South Bay. Okay. Um, and within a couple hours of meeting, um, uh, uh, Toby and Ivan, Ivan had convinced me to, to quit the internship and to spend at least the rest of the summer working on Notion. And then a couple weeks after that, I decided to uh, drop out of school and okay. I've, I've, I've been working on Notion ever since. And go for it. And then moved out to Japan, right? Is that the sort of Oh, that was much later. That was a couple of years later. later. A couple of years later. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. 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 so there's a whole prehistory of Notion yeah. in which, yeah, so I mean, in the, in the early days, we didn't really know what we were doing at all. I mean, yeah, and uh, Notion was much more of a research project mm. than, than a company, really. Yeah. Um, all we were really working from was kind of a vague aspiration to like democratize programming, democratize computing in some way. Yeah. And, and we built, uh, we built uh, a few prototypes along those lines that w- weren't really good products, but were kind of interesting Yeah. in some ways. Yeah. Uh, and it took us a long time to, to narrow in on kind of documents, you know, wiki, you know, all the all the more practical, uh, so sort of the practical business um, focus of it. Yeah, it was actually like more of a, like a passion project that is now turned into something that um, it is a lot more than it was when it started. Simon's day-to-day work is mainly on product. Um, when when people come to our office, they often say that it's simultaneously relaxed, but also very intense. And and I really like that contradiction. I think it kind of sums up a lot about us. Um, we're, we're very relaxed and 
open and comfortable with each other, but also, you know, very focused on what we're trying to accomplish. And, you know, even though we have an open office, sometimes it's like a library in here because we're all, you know, drilling away what we're trying to, we're trying to accomplish. Yeah. Yeah. I've noticed that. That's, I think that's good then. That's, that's yeah. it, healthy for work anyway. Um, and, and how do you use Notion in sort of organizing your own personal life? Do you use it in that situation? Mm -hmm. I use the web clipper probably 20 times a day. Yeah. Um, <laughs> on my phone, especially. Whenever someone tells me about something in a conversation, I try to actually write it down. Yeah. Otherwise, it just slips out of your mind. Yeah. So I have I have a database for movies, links, books, uh, vid uh, video games to play, um, and I have kind of a uh, personal brain a, a database where I just keep all my notes. Yeah, oh, brilliant. Um, so with the movies one, do you clip a lot of IMDb there? Yes. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> I, actually, Rotten Tomatoes is better, but yeah. Uh, Rotten Tomatoes, yeah. It is, yeah. <laughs> the, Notion is slowly finding itself into the pockets of many professionals, students, teams, and innovators looking to manage their day-to-day -day work and life. So hopefully this has captured a bit of an idea of the feel around Notion at the moment and how it's impacting people's lives. And they seem to be making progression month by month. With new updates and feature requests being shipped pretty routinely, it's safe to say Notion is heading in the right direction. But what does Ivan believe Notion's future lies? So go for the future for Notion. Well, um, well there's still a long way to go for us to even partially realize the romance that allow everyone to create their own software in Notion. Uh, so we're just getting started and some things towards that direction are um, more integrations, you know. Uh, API is another big one, so it's, we, we want to take our time and build it right. And, uh, and in general, we just want to make Notion to be faster and lighter. You know, we want it to be the first destination whenever you have an idea to capture for yourself or for your business. And from there, you, know, you can customize your workflow. So of course Notion is in its early days. Their feature range is expansive but can lack total optimization for someone looking for example for a specialist note taker or an advanced task manager. But Notion are adding features and it can be shaped to any of your needs. They're listening to their customers and they have a new market to play with, the modular productivity space. So I see good things for the future and excited to see where they go. Thank you to the Notion team for hosting me for the week. And there will be a couple of spin-off videos from this guys. For example, a full chat and sit down with co-founder Ivan. Also a few interviews with the team members that you might enjoy. So I will be putting up a few more resources in the next couple of weeks. So please check the description, become a subscriber on Keep Productive and check out our resources for Notion so that you can get up to scratch with this new software. Thank you so much for watching and have a smashing week. I really hope you enjoyed this documentary. It's the first one I've ever done, so let me know if you have any feedback. And of course, I will definitely take that all on board. Thank you so much, and I'll see you guys very, very soon. Cheers.